Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome to my hobby blog. Today we are doing day six of Spooktober. 31 days of spooky horror films and also any films that in, uh, entail the spirit of Halloween in uh, October. So today I watched a movie that I hesitate to even call a movie, but they wrote a script for it. So I kind of have to, and they have actors, and certain kinds of actors. This is the film released by Agatha, or what I call AGFA, The Final Flesh. Uh, by the way, I said this uh, whenever during the haul video that I love this cover. I'm keeping it just for that. I will never watch this movie again. I don't think I will ever dive into the uh, special features, but oh my god. I may just keep it, like, as a poster. I don't know, but... This movie is a fetish film made by four different fetish film production uh, offices. The film is from 2009, and the story goes... Uh, tch -tch -tch. Final Flesh is unlike anything you've ever seen, on Earth or other places. In the early 2000s, Vernon Chapman co-founder of the PFFR Art Collective, co-creator of Wonder Chosen and Xavier, Renegade Angel, and producer of South Park, cool, uh, wrote a four-part screenplay about a family who lives adjacent to the ground zero of a thermonuclear disaster. Instead of sharing the finished script with Hollywood, Chapman sent each part to four different companies that specialize in custom adult fetish videos. And Final Flesh was born. This movie, again, <laughs> is a fetish film. It is not good. There's not much going on at all throughout the entirety of it. But I, there are a lot of horrific things in this movie. Uh, mostly the effects of what happens to the family when they are hit by... Well, not hit, but affected by the nuclear blast and it's really bad um they hatch eggs they uh eat the eggs they uh have giant slabs of meat coming out of the vaginas and then they lick it and then uh breastfeed it it's a really weird movie <laughs> um i did not have much fun watching it um it was really disgusting, but I will say the first family that, uh, I guess was shown in the movie, uh, they were the, I don't want to say the worst actors of the movie, because none of them were quite that good, as, uh, they, they never really do these type of movies, but more, you know, fetish movies where they don't have to act, but, um, that first family, holy crap. Every line they say is delivered so flatly, so hilariously. Uh, it made the movie, and I kind of wish that the whole movie was just with them, because that would have been absolutely hilarious. But I did not care for this movie at all. I will probably rate it a two and a half, maybe even a two, on a letterbox, but... Just from the back here, you can see <laughs> an apple uh, person with human legs is ejaculating uh, tree vines. It's a really bizarre movie. Uh, there aren't really any special effects. They just kind of grab whatever and they uh, just shoot the scene and like that's it. This movie is not fun. Uh, I don't really care for it. There's really not anything to talk about for this movie. And so I feel quite disappointed that this is a really short video. But that is all for today. Uh, I'll probably watch more movies. And I probably should review them instead. But uh, I'm sure somebody out there uh, wants to know about this movie. And I want to help them inform them of a purchase that they should probably not make. So... Ah, oh, ran a little harsh though. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and please have a great rest of the week.